Hey guys, Dr. Rad here, and um, this presentation is on flow rates. So the first thing we need to know about flow rates is what is a rate? Um, you know, you don't really think about it too much, but you use a rate every time you get in a vehicle um, in, in your car. We would refer to that rate as miles per hour. Um, and typically, you don't think about that. If you're going from your home to the store, you probably have an idea of the time it'll take uh, to get there. You may not know the distance, but the distance and the speed that you typically travel is essentially a rate. Um, and the short example is, you know, let's say you're traveling 60 miles and you're going 60 miles per hour, you expect that you'll arrive at your desti destination in one hour. So you can use that same rate logic when assessing um, rates in nursing. So in nursing, we use that same assessment, but instead of uh, distance over time rate, we use volume over time. Okay, so the volumes over time that we typically deal with volumes in um, in nursing, we're going to be talking about milliliters, cc's, and drops. Um, typically, uh, a typical um, flow rate or infusion rate is going to be in milliliters per hour or cc's per hour, what you can program into the infusion pump. And then if you're doing a drop rate, the drop rate is typically in drops per minute. So how do we calculate flow rates? Well, let's look at a typical question you might see on a, a drug calc exam um, or uh, even possibly on the NCLEX. So you have a patient receiving 500 milliliters of Ringer's lactate over four hours. What would you set the rate on the infusion pump to in milliliters per hour? So step number one is what is the question asking? Well, the question is asking you to um, set the infusion pump in milliliters per hour. So that's what we want. We want to know what is the infusion in milliliters per hour. So what do we know? Well, reading the, um, the question, we can see that we have 500 milliliters of Ringer's lactate and that it's going to be infusing over four hours or the patient's going to be receiving it over a period of four hours. And that's what we use. We take the volume, we take the time, and we put that volume over time because that is the, um, the way that we get a rate. So volume over time, and in this instance, it's 500 milliliters over four hours, and that is how we get to our rate or what we're gonna set the infusion pump to. I apologize for my writing there. So 500 milliliters over four hours, and when you plug that into your calculator, you will see that you will get 125 milliliters per hour. So let's look at some variations. Uh, you might see a question where it's asking you now, instead of what is the rate, they wanna know what, how long the infusion will take. Uh, so in this example question, we have 0.9% sodium chloride, 600 milliliters IV at 150 milliliters per hour. So notice there that they give you the rate. How long will this infusion take? Now, typically if it doesn't ask or give a specific time, we can assume, safely assume, that how long this will take, they mean how, many, how long in hours. Um, so what is the question asking? How long will the infusion take? Um, and then what do we know? We know the volume and we know the rate. So I highlighted here a second ago. And now we just manipulate the formula. Um, we know that volume over time equals rate. Well, all we're going to do is switch rate and time. So instead of volume over time, now it's going to be volume over rate. Now, if you don't like that, I wrote this up in a couple different ways. Um, but if we follow that format, 600 over 150 is how we would set that up. And that's a one over here. Sorry, I crossed that out. Another way that I think is uh, helpful, especially when studying this, um, is using uh, dimensional analysis. And with dimensional analysis, you're going to take um, what is given to you, the volume, and you don't want volume, you want time, so you just um, manipulate this into um, uh, a formula that will allow you to cross out the volume and you're left with your time. So that way works. And some of you like to do the desired over have uh, type of setup, and that's what this would look like right here. This would be the desired over have uh, setup here. But no matter how you set this particular problem up, the answer will be four hours. Now a variation of this might be, let's say we set the infusion uh, pump to start at uh, 8 a.m. and I'm trying really hard to use my mouse to right here. 
It starts at 8 a.m. and it might ask what time would the infusion pump run out or stop or need to be changed or however that does. So 8 a.m., four hours, and we know we would need to change it at 12 p.m. or noon. So anyways, that's how that might look. Now another problem comes in and another variation of flow rates is they may give you minutes per hour, or I'm sorry, they may give you minutes instead of hours. So we need to convert those minutes into hours. So here in the example, patient must receive a tube feeding of Ensure 240 milliliters in 45 minutes, calculate the flow rate in milliliters per hour. So again, what is the question asking? We wanna know what is the flow rate in milliliters per hour, okay? so. What do we have? What do we know? We know that they're going to receive 240 milliliters of Ensure, and it's going to be in a time frame of 45 minutes. Um, so you can see I wrote that down here. We're going to follow that same formula from the first example question that I gave you, volume over time. In this instance, the volume is 240 milliliters. The time is 45 minutes. But I don't want minutes. I want hours. So I'm going to add a simple conversion of minutes to hours. So here it's you're multiplying by 60 over 1. And we know we're doing it right because we can cross those out and we're left with what we want in our final answer, which is milliliters per hour. It's one of the reasons why I like using dimensional analysis uh, as an explanation tool. Um, you may or may not use this. Um, and it doesn't really matter what you use. What matters is whatever you use that you get the answer right every single time. Um, but following this uh, setup, uh, you, your final answer would be 320 milliliters per hour. Now, what I have noticed is that many nurses get tripped up on this particular type of question. They will get upset at the fact that it's like, well, how can it be 320 milliliters if it's only 240 milliliters? Well, you know that after 45 minutes, that 240 milliliters is gonna be gone, okay? So this is just telling you what you would set if you were programming this into an infusion pump. Now, obviously they're not receiving Ensure um, on a, uh, you know, via an IV, but, um, you know, perhaps tube feeding, perhaps that's something you would set a rate to. I, I'm not entirely sure about that, but this is just telling you how much of it would escape in an hour. So let's say they had 500 milliliters um, in a, you know, uh, in a bottle, you only want to give them 240 in 45 minutes. We would still set the infusion pump to that 320 milliliters per hour to get to the, um, um, the, the total time of 45 minutes delivering 240 milliliters, but that's how we, that's what we would have to program that into. Another way of looking at that is some people like to convert these into um, fractions. So we would say that that is um, three fourths of an hour, um, or you can say that that's also uh, 0.75 of an hour. Um, I don't know about you, but I always like to not think in terms of fractions and decimals. Um, but if that's what's easier for you, then by all means, go ahead and do that. Anyways, I hope that was helpful for you. And if you need more help, um, I invite you to sign up for my free newsletter. Um, you can uh, sign up by uh, actually just sending an email to theradtutor at gmail.com. Um, and I will add you to my list. Um, you will be the first to know and get notifications of new videos. Um, I'm working on uh, putting together a free mastering drug calculations guide, um, additional free tips and resources for nursing students, pra practice tests and answer keys, help with ATI, help with the NCLEX, and the uh, um, option or the ability to schedule a virtual one-on-one -on -one or group tutoring session with myself. Um, and then if you're uh, local to my area, we can certainly uh, schedule a time uh, to meet one-on-one -on -one in person. Um, but my hope is that you get a lot out of this. And um, if, uh, if you would, please leave comments, uh, send me an email, let me know uh, what other questions you have, and I will do my best to put together uh, more content for you to hopefully help you uh, master this thing uh, that is drug calculation. Because uh, it's my hope that you become not only uh, passing your your classes, but I want you to become you know the best nurse that you can and get a great job and um, and and save people's lives because you know they need you. So thanks.